Hello guys, welcome to History Facts. Today we are discussing the intimate lives of our founding fathers. Enjoy the video. As much as we respect the U.S. founding fathers for leading the American Revolution and crafting the Constitution, we often forget that many of these men also found the time to carry on several affairs, satisfy their sexual appetites, and tend to unusual bodily ailments. It seems that men in American politics have been grappling with, and publicly apologizing for, their private lives for longer than we tend to remember. The most interesting founding father's sex facts range from fairly run-of-the-mill affairs to what Governor Morris allegedly did with a whale bone, a choice that led to his untimely demise. Are these sex tales from the men who founded America as shocking as the many founding fathers' conspiracies? Do any of them change your mind about who the best founding father was? Watch the video and decide for yourself. Governor Morris passed away after sticking a whale bone into his manhood. Governor Morris passed after succumbing to complications related to sticking a whale bone into his urethra. A longtime sufferer of gout and possibly prostate cancer, Morris was having a difficult time urinating and tried to use the whale bone as a catheter. It didn't work. George Washington might have been infertile. Even though he's known as the Founding Father, evidence suggests George Washington was unable to become an actual father himself. Any picture of him with children depicts his stepchildren or relatives, as he didn't have any of his own. His wife, Martha, clearly wasn't the problem, she gave birth to four children with her first husband Daniel Park Custis. It is suspected that George was rendered infertile due to a tuberculosis infection. Alexander Hamilton had a very public affair. Alexander Hamilton had one of the most public affairs of any of the founding fathers. While his wife was away for the summer, Hamilton found himself unable to say no to the alluring Maria Reynolds and the two began an affair. Maria was married, and when her husband returned, he demanded money from Hamilton in exchange for keeping quiet. Still, Hamilton continued the affair. A pattern was established that went like this, Maria's husband would leave, Maria would invite Hamilton over, Maria's husband would return and demand money, Hamilton would pay. Repeat. The situation got so serious that Hamilton eventually had to announce the affair to the public. Sadly, this had the consequence of embarrassing not only Hamilton, but his wife as well. Benjamin Franklin preferred older women. Benjamin Franklin often expressed his belief that older women were the best option when looking for a worthwhile sexual partner. In his paper advice to a young man on the choice of a mistress, Franklin wrote about how older women were both more grateful to catch the eye of a younger man more experienced when it came to getting down and dirty. He went on to write, regarding what is below the girdle, it is impossible, to tell an old one from a young one. James Madison's lack of sexual appetite drove his wife to other men. While Dolly Madison, James Madison's wife, was widely known to conform to hyperfeminine beauty standards, as a buxom woman with a mouth which was beautiful in shape and expression, James's figure was rather slight. He was 5 feet 4 inches and weighed only about 100 pounds. Dolly was reported to be 3 inches taller than him and absolutely beautiful. Her grace would put men in pouts whenever she walked by. Although she was stunning, James apparently didn't have much of an interest in her. He was, after all, pretty busy being the fourth president of the United States. His lack of amorous passion for his beautiful wife allegedly caused her to seek the company of other men. George Washington was in love with someone other than his wife. By all accounts, George Washington's wife Martha seemed like the perfect match for America's first president. Although the two seemed made for each other, George's heart belonged to another, the beautiful Sally Fairfax. The two grew up together and Fairfax taught Washington everything he needed to know about high society. Even though he loved her, he could never be with her. 
He came from a middle-class upbringing, while she came from a far wealthier family. However, their differing backgrounds didn't stop Washington from maintaining a relationship with Fairfax. Even when he was engaged to Martha, Washington told Fairfax how much he loved her and wanted to be with her. Benjamin Franklin had an insatiable sexual appetite. Franklin had a wife by the name of Deborah Redd. The two were married for 44 years, but that wasn't enough for Franklin. For powerful men in the colonial era, having a mistress wasn't uncommon, but the sheer number of conquests Franklin amassed was staggering. He seemed to particularly like French women, having affairs with Anne-Louise Brillon de Joey, Madame Foucault, Mademoiselle Le Vaillard, Comtesse Houtot, and others. Even as he grew older, his sexual appetite would not be quelled as he continued affairs with countless women. Franklin openly admitted to his dalliances, writing in his autobiography that, the hard-to-be-governed passion of my youth had hurried me frequently into intrigues with low women that fell in my way. Gouverneur Morris liked to fornicate in public. One of the lesser-known founding fathers, Gouverneur Morris has also been described as a sexual libertine by virtually all of his biographers. He had affairs with countless women and he did it all with one leg. Morris is even rumored to have lost his leg in the midst of one of his sexual exploits, when an affair with one of his lovers was interrupted by her husband. Morris is said to have been run over by a carriage in his attempt to escape, losing his leg in the process. Luckily for him, his one-legged status did not appear to harm his chances with women. He had an affair with Madame de Flahout, a French woman who lived in the Louvre before moving around Europe to follow Morris and other future lovers and husbands. This spicy relationship appears to have ended when Flahout returned to France after the French Revolution, a country where Morris was no longer welcome, considering his sympathies for the former monarchy. Some think Alexander Hamilton had a homosexual relationship with John Lawrence. Historians have discussed the possibility that Alexander Hamilton had a homosexual relationship with his friend, John Lawrence, while the two were assisting George Washington during the American Revolution. People have taken to analyzing the letters the two sent each other and have wondered if there was something deeper between the two men. Some choice lines between the two include Hamilton telling Lawrence, I wish, it might be in my power, by action rather than words to convince you that I love you, and, you should not have taken advantage of my sensibility to steal into my affections without my consent. While Hamilton's sexuality is not confirmed, these correspondences suggest that he had a serious fondness for Lawrence. Thomas Jefferson had an affair with a slave. It was one of the first major sex scandals of the young nation in debate over what is and isn't true continues to this day, the fact that Thomas Jefferson probably sired children with his slave, Sally Hemings. Rumors about his affair had been around for a while, but it was only after political journalist James Callender, in 1802, wrote about how Jefferson kept, as his concubine, one of his own slaves, that the scandal started to grow. His opponents in the North, who advocated abolition, used the story against him. Thanks for watching. Do like, subscribe and comment.